guys welcome to this new video tutorial in this video i'll show you the easiest way how you could download and install virtualbox to do that if you have windows 7 windows 8 windows 10 11 or even 12 then this video is for you first of all let's click on our browser it might be any chrome firefox or edge type virtualbox and hit or virtualbox download or just virtualbox and hit enter on the first website, www.virtualbox.org, that's our website, you see as a second option, Downloads. Click on it to download. Next step, here we will have all the details about VirtualBox. Under VirtualBox 7.0.6 platform packages, you will have different kind of packages for Windows computer, MacOS or computer, developer preview, Linux distributions, Solaris, etc. So I will choose for Windows. You can choose the one which suits you, but I will take the one for Windows. Once you click on it, the download should start automatically and I will be able to install it soon. So I will pause the video here until the download is over and I will show you which button to click next. So now the download is completed. Let's click on the executable file to run and let's reduce this. We should see the installation commands appearing. Windows will ask you if you really want to allow this application to make changes to your device, just click yes. Let's close this. So now it's coming, preparing to install. That's what we want to see. And then next. Here I will click next. I will leave everything by default. You can change the location where you want to save or where you want the installation to be done. I will leave it for my, for my personal point. I will leave it in the C drive. And I will click OK and I will click Next. Here it says installing the Oracle VirtualBox network features will reset your network connections and temporarily disconnect you from the network. That's fine for me. If you are having if you are doing something over the network, you want to stop it first before proceeding. For now, I will click Yes. I will click again yes, missing dependencies, Python Core, Win32 API. I will just click yes and it should come. Install. And then the installation will be done automatically. And it should not take more than one to three minutes as maximum. I will pause the video here. And once done, I will show you what is the next step. So as you can see, I have here installation done. Click finish. And normally you should see see an icon oracle vm virtual box on your desktop and the application should actually be launched automatically so you might need to wait for a few more seconds until it's launching as you can see it automatically launched so here i will go to help and i will check about virtual box and virtual box graphical user blah 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 everything should should be fine now and here we have our virtual box installed and ready to be used. Thank you guys for watching and talk to you soon in a new video tutorial.